wonderful bunch. Good afternoon, London. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. We're making net zero fuel. It's biofuel, but it has zero carbon footprint. We're doing it in the fossil fuel capital of the world, and I'm not mad. 23% of global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by transportation. And while I drive a Tesla, and you might want to drive a Tesla, it's not going to get our supply chains fixed. I started out working with DHL in the end of 2006, looking at their global supply chain. And they've got lots of aircraft, and they've got lots of trucks, and they've got lots more aircraft, and they've got a load of aircraft and trucks. <laughs> and they've got more trucks, and they've got a few small aircraft. And they've got a solution to this problem. With 200,000 trucks, 13,500 buildings, 423 aircraft, they've got a man with a bicycle. <laughs> we have to find a different way of solving this problem. <laughs> The Climate Change Convention uh, in 1992, the United Nations resolved we were going to reduce greenhouse gases. 27 years later, they have gone up by 40%. As a businessman, I would say that strategy has failed. In fact, what we need to do, as Daniel said earlier, is embrace business. Now, DHL has a huge carbon footprint. We did the 2006 baseline for them. It's the same as those countries put together plus those countries, plus those countries. One company has the same carbon footprint as 46 countries. And if you can get them to make a change, we can impact 42% of transportation emissions because they come from commercial vehicles. In fact, 95% of those commercial vehicles run diesel engines, and 100% of those diesel engines, we've proved it over eight years, they can all run on net zero fuel today. In fact, we've proved it with one of the world's biggest brands. McDonald's delivers our empty oil containers to their restaurants in their normal delivery trucks. They then collect the used cooking oil from those restaurants, put it into their trucks. They do it all over the United Arab Emirates, and they then deliver it. They deliver the waste oil to our facility, where we convert it into fuel, and we put 100% biofuel, net zero, back into their trucks. So for the last five years, we've been fueling all of their vehicles with net zero fuel, and for the last eight years, we've managed to do this in a completely closed loop system. We've done 13 and a half million kilometers with zero carbon footprint. <laughs> we've expanded that now. We've expanded that now to other people in McDonald's supply chain. We've now taken that into other countries without modifying the vehicles, without any loss in fuel economy, without any financial impact. We've done it with schools, we've done it all over the place, and we've added technology to this so that we can truly measure what's happening. We can provide an end-to-end -end visibility of both the waste stream and the finished product. We do that by using technology everywhere and a brilliant team. Our team has done five trade sales, two IPOs. We've operated in 46 countries, and we're now building a billion-dollar organization. We've grown 42% CAGA in the last five years. We've been EBITDA positive for seven years. We've been growing this everywhere. Thank you very much. Neutral Fuels is growing.